Some German healing and healthy living techniques that are more than a century old could benefit residents of the North Country. And some Saranac Lake residents would like to see programs put in place to ensure new life for these successful practices. Resident Lila Levine says she first learned about Kneipp therapy as a child in Germany. Its founder, Sebastian Kneipp, battled tuberculosis in the late 1800s and developed a system of healthy living involving hydrotherapy, herbalism, exercise, and nutrition. Also in the late 1800s, in Saranac Lake, New York, Dr. Edward Livingston Trudeau was himself battling tuberculosis and developed what would become the Trudeau Institute in Saranac Lake, a facility dedicated to improving human health. Levine says Saranac Lake, with its reputation for healing, should embrace Kneipp therapy. She helped organize a visit from a German Kneipp expert and a therapeutic walk in the lake behind the institute, all to get massage therapists, medical practitioners, and even the mayor enthused about the healing practices. We're on the beach of Trudeau Institute where we help the healing arts through intensive research and development low these many years. And to bring kniping here on the beaches just fits in with our character. Massage therapist and instructor John McDougall studied Kneipp therapy in Germany and says it's an excellent idea to incorporate the techniques with her students. These water cures are very simple. We come from water out of our mamas, so therefore, why not use water to help cure? I'm here with German Schleinkover. He's a Kneipp therapy author and lecturer, and also Paul Herman, a Saranac Lake resident. Welcome to you both. Thank you. What is the Kneipp hydrotherapy philosophy? The Kneipp hydrotherapy uses hot and cold water to increase the blood circulation and to strengthen the immune system. So you are visiting from Germany to introduce these techniques to some massage therapy students and some faculty at North Country Community College in Saranac Lake. And that is a village that's long associated with healing due to the Trudeau Institute, a research facility. What is your message to the massage students in Saranac Lake? The massage students can use hydrotherapy in their practice and it's very easy to do. Why is it important that we have a place that celebrates these Kneipp techniques in the USA? Yeah, it would be great and it's my wish also that Kneipp comes back to the United States because it was here already, but it was 100 years ago. Where was it before? There's not so far from here. It's uh, Poughkeepsie. There was a famous Kneipp sanatorium, St. Joseph, located near at the Hudson River. Who will most benefit from these practices? Everybody, uh, healthy people, can strengthen their health, can strengthen their immune system, but there is also a lot of possibilities to cure diseases with hydrotherapy, under the guidance of doctors, of course. Yeah, this does not replace going to the doctor. No, it doesn't, but it can help to improve your health. It helps to strengthen your immune system, to avoid uh, common colds, and uh, it's a healthy lifestyle. Now, Paul, how have the Kneipp techniques personally benefited you? Well, I've had problems with swelling in my lower legs and also with pain in my knees. So the water treading has helped reduce uh, the, uh, my swelling in my legs, and the hot water on my lower back has helped r reduce and, and, uh, the pain in my knees. You have a tenant in your building who practices Kneipp techniques. What does she do exactly? Well, uh, Lila Levine is a native of Germany, learned about Kneipp when she was a child in Germany. She has uh, some special Kneipp uh, trays that she obeys her arms and elbows in, her lower arms and elbows, moving them from hot water to cold water, cold water to hot water to stimulate the circulation in her arms and elbows. What does this do to go from hot water to cold water? The hot water dilates the blood vessels, the cold water constricts the vessel. So it's a kind of training to keep the blood vessel flexible. What else can someone do in their own shower? Um, for example, a um, very good treatment to strengthen the immune system is the so-called uh, contrast shower. So you start doing a warm shower and after that, a very short cold one, then again warm and finishes with cold. What are the benefits of walking in shallow water? Well, that's um, the one of the famous traditional Kneipp treatments. But, you know, you walk stork-like in the water, you activate the muscular venous pump. 
it improves the blood circulation to the, to the heart and it also uh, impro it improves the immune system. And some people also walk right on the grass barefoot. Yeah. What good does that do? Well, it has similar effects like the water treading, but it also grounds you, it puts you back to the ground. And it also activates the small muscles in, in the feet and the lower legs. If you walk on uneven ground, uh, you have less swellings in the legs, uh, especially it prevents you from varicose veins. Well, there's a private citizen in Saranac Lake who says she wants to make the village the first Knipe village in the U.S. What does that mean exactly? Well, my tenant, Lilo Levine, uh, grew up in Germany. She cured for TB in Saranac Lake. She's now a full-time resident in Saranac Lake, and she wants to bring the Knipe therapy treatment that she learned to love in, in Germany to Saranac Lake. And German is here to talk to the students at the massage therapy program in, at North Country Community College. What does she ultimately want to happen with those students? Oh, I, I think she'd love to see um, those students learn something about Knipe therapy, introduce it to their clients so the people uh, will come to Saranac Lake, start uh, using these uh, cold water, warm water techniques, uh, and the rest of the Knipe philosophy of diet and exercise, and relaxation, very important. So she would like to see uh, Saranac Lake be a healing spa once again. So this is just the beginning of a whole potential initiative. Well, she's 91, it, it served her well, and I think she'd like to share it with uh, the rest of America before she leaves this world.